The government is shifting the way assistance is distributed in the capital in the aftermath of Hurricane Matthew. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Saunders. And I'm Charisma Robinson. It's all designed to bring help and hope to residents of communities impacted by that monster storm. And today, the nation's chief announced that government will change the distribution and assessment process to cut down on the amount of red tape and frustration experienced during this difficult time. The prime minister's announcement came as he toured part hard-hit areas of Marshall Road in Adelaide today. Clint Watson joins us now with the latest. Clint, you've just come back with the Prime Minister, and I understand that this may have been a very tough thing to view out there, especially where Adelaide, where we hadn't seen much as yet, but now we're seeing it's overwhelming. That's correct, Chris. The overwhelming subscription of people needing assistance here in New Providence following the devastation of Hurricane Matthew, combined with reports of difficulty getting assistance in a timely manner, has prompted Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie to shift the way distribution takes place, now placing it with urban renewal. Now that means that all 20 plus constituencies in New Providence will now have urban renewal. What we found here is that we that there's a lot of damage. That rather than just have people come out on an ad hoc basis, we should have a more organized approach to it. So the coordinator Mr. Gibson and Captain Russell and um, Assistant Commissioner Dean determined that we should integrate urban renewal into this process and because urban renewal is only in I think 11 areas it meant that we had to create new entities whole new bodies of people and led by the police force and this is the other point to ensure accountability to ensure fairness to ensure that we reach the people who we ought to reach now, Mr. Chrissy says the whole idea is as the need grows, so will the urban renewal teams. As these teams go out, they will be expanded on the basis of needs, and they will be reporting to each of the members of parliament and to the country on the basis of what they find. We want, out of courtesy for the members of parliament, um, including the opposition, um, to see who the police officers are, to approve of them so to speak so that no one could feel that we are imposing things on them but the idea is to have a team constituted with a leader a police officer um, a social worker an environmental health worker and whatever else we need and the member of parliament would be able to recommend someone on that team as well the Prime Minister says they expect to get enough information to ensure they don't mess anyone needing help. The Prime Minister shares the sentiments expressed by some that the process, although requiring detailed documentation and data collection, is taking too long. Not as quickly as they would want to. I mean, people obviously, we've, we've brought in a lot. Uh, we have distributed a lot but there are thousands of people who have been affected. And one of the reasons why I wanted to come out here in the South was because we placed a lot of emphasis on Andros, Low Sound, Freeport, West End, and people would have gotten the impression that the damage is much less here in New Providence, and it's really not. You hear the complaints about electricity, but people must be aware that in New Providence, I don't recall ever having a Category 4 hurricane pass through and hit New Providence directly. The complexity of restoration is as such where poles have been lost, and even though we've brought in, um, Bahamas Power and Light have brought in significant numbers <coughs> to assist their technicians. In Grand, Ma in Grand Bahama, we heard that they were bringing in an additional 180 persons to help restore there. And so for me, I'm comforted by the fact that they say 80% um, has not been restored and every day they add a few more people on and hopefully by the weekend, um, they will have complete restoration. Now, Chris and Charisma, the Prime Minister says tomorrow in Cabinet, they will discuss the finances needed to bring the country back to a place of restoration. And that begins with approval to secure a bond for $115 million to get the ball rolling. Back to you.